In 1980, Helen Harris came across a small article in a local Rochester, New York newspaper that mentioned Dr. Manuel Del Cerro and his controversial new work on medical research called stem cell transplantation. She met with him, discussed the stem cell as a potential cure for the blindness that was affecting her, her children, and approximately 20 million others. She realized that this process was probably the only thing that would regenerate and restore eyesight and began searching for more information regarding the transplantation of cells, not only for blindness, but for any disease, such as Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, and other neurological disorders that are currently incurable. Her belief was, and still is, that if stem cells could be used to cure Alzheimer's or Parkinson's, it would definitely cure blindness. Helen put Dr. Del Cerro together with six other doctors to form the first ever stem cell transplantation team. Over the next 10 years, they worked relentlessly to try to get funding for this process. In 1984, Helen donned surgery scrubs and was present in the operating room at LSU, where Dr. Golem Payman took cells from the peripheral part of the female patient's own eye and inserted them into her macular, the central part of the eye, in hopes of restoring her vision. Remarkably, the patient regained her eyesight, and suddenly her world of darkness was filled with a glimmer of light. During a follow-up visit with the patient a year after her procedure, the woman was crystal clear about her vision. She said she could see nothing before the surgery, and now she had enough of her eyesight back to thread a needle or to read print. I think the first time I realized that I could see out of my eye was at night, coming from my son's house. I could see the lights on the shopping center, and I got excited. I feel like if my knees were as good as my eyes, I'd have it made. Yet in spite of her miraculous transformation, she had been harassed by the neighbors and newspapers, making uninformed comments about her fetal cell abortion eyes, dog cell eyes, and her Frankenstein surgery. All of this was very, very far from the truth. Helen knew they had begun to shatter the outdated mentality that degenerative diseases were incurable. However, the next year, the lab at LSU was slowly dismantled. The funds were distributed to a different part of the university. It's no secret that large donors will sometimes withdraw their funding to distance themselves from controversial procedures taking place in an institution that they support. At that time, no one went to Arvo to discuss cell transplant because brilliant American eye doctors, scientists, researchers, and ophthalmologists were being labeled voodoo medicine men by far too many. Over the years, Helen has met with doctors and researchers regularly, and as they began to gain more hope about their work, they became less shy about discussing it in front of each other. They truly believe that stem cells will cure retinitis pigmentosa and that it will be the future cure for many other diseases. Dr. Payman recently said, Helen, had anyone listened to you 20 years ago, RP would be cured by now. Let's not let another year go by where the stem cells get set aside. We need to make sure funds go to the right doctors and the right universities where people are taken off the waiting list and put on the operating table. <laughs>